Most teachers would not tell you to cheat your way to success, but that's exactly what I did in the beginning. And that's what I'm here to show you now. I spent four years in school trying to cluelessly understand Pro Tools. And if you've ever been hesitant to start recording because you're afraid it'll be too hard and confusing, well, you're not entirely wrong for that. I went to college for it and it was hella confusing. College, countless YouTube videos, and mixing engineer courses all complicate things and teach us all of the complexities of engineering that I conclude are just extra unnecessary information for us singers. So if you really want to be able to simply record from home with a professional sound, I'm going to share the ultimate singer's hack to getting there crazy fast and actually understanding what you're doing. Okay, so yeah, teachers won't tell you to cheat, but that's literally how I got my start. So one day I was co-writing with a producer. He ran the Pro Tools session for me. He mixed the song and everything. He got it sounding really good. But that day was very special. From that day forward, everything changed for me because I realized we were working off my hard drive. So I walked out of that session with a whole beautifully mixed Pro Tools session. And guess what I did with it? I saved the settings of that session as my very first template. Over time, I made adjustments to the template, little changes like layout, the plugins, and little operational things to my liking. And that is really how I got my start getting this incredible radio quality sound from my own home studio. And now I like sharing it with other singers. I'm about to open Pro Tools and walk you through the recording routine, but the vocal recording shortcut is in a nutshell, my Pro Tools template with a mini course on how to use it. It's a quick tour of just the main buttons you need to know, the editing tools, how to edit, and a crash course on mixing. It goes through my vocal chain for you, my effects, my mastering chain, will record and then turn it into an mp3. It also covers a lesson on vocal production so you know what to focus on to improve your sound. But for now, let's get started with the very basics. So make sure you download your free cheat sheet guide below and then let's open the free version of Pro Tools and get started from scratch. And then after that, I'll show you what the same routine would look like and sound like when you do it inside the template with the shortcut mini course if you continue with me. So if you haven't done so yet, head to avid.com and download Pro Tools intro. You'll find it at avid.com slash pro dash tools slash intro or just Google Pro Tools intro and it'll take you right to it. This is the free version of Pro Tools. Get that installed and you can get your notepad out if you like or you can just print out that recording routine cheat sheet when you're ready to try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Pro Tools. If you just installed it, it'll be in your applications folder. First time you open Pro Tools, it will take a little time to load everything. So just be patient there. This is what you're gonna see when it first opens. This is the dashboard of how you're going to create a new session. So first thing I want to do is title it. I'm going to title it Diamonds because that's what I'm about to record a cover song of. And then I'm going to make sure my file settings are wave, sample rate 48K, and bit depth 24. We'll just leave it on last used or you can use stereo mix. That's fine too. And that's it. I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to then prompt me for where I want to save it. Now, if you don't have an external hard drive, I highly recommend getting one. It's going to make your computer run a lot easier if you save the session onto an external hard drive. After you save, here's where we end up. This is what a blank session looks like. And the first thing I want you to do is make sure your microphone is communicating with Pro Tools so we can get sound. And if you don't have a mic yet, you can actually play around with this without a mic. All you need is a computer and a pair of headphones. Plug the headphones into your laptop and we're going to use your internal mic as your microphone. So to configure this, go to Setup, Playback Engine, get to know the Playback Engine. And right here, this is the device that communicates with your microphone and Pro Tools. If you have an interface, it's going to be the name of your interface. If you're using just your computer, it's probably going to say something like laptop microphone or mine says MacBook Pro microphone something like that. I happen to know that Symphony Desktop is the name of my interface, so that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to make my first audio track. We're going to do that by going to Track, New, and we're going to want a mono audio track, and we want it in samples. Tix is for instrumental uh, MIDI stuff. And then I'm going to name it Vocal 1. Actually, let's make 3. I'm going to say this is going to be a background vocal 
one, and then this one is going to be two. Let's maybe name this a lead. Okay, better. Create. And it just made me three audio tracks. I'm also going to want to import my instrumental. So let's do that now. Go to File, Import, Audio. This screen comes up. You need to know where your instrumental is on your computer, whether it's in your downloads folder or wherever. I happen to know it's in this folder. Um, here it is. You click on it to select it. It shows up here. Hit Convert. And we're going to check this button that says Apply SRC. Uh, basically, if the instrumental happens to not be in 48K, this converts it to 48K. Hit Enter. It's just going to ask us if it's okay to put it in the audio files folder. I think that's a good idea. Enter. And now it's going to start importing. This might take a minute. Okay, when it's done importing, it's going to ask you where to put it. So we're just going to let it go onto a new track. That's fine. Hit OK. And there it is. So our instrumental is down here. I'm going to pop it up to the top. Now we're going to make sure we're getting sound. This is the editing screen, by the way. You have two major windows, the edit window and the mix window. To switch back and forth, you just hit Command equals or Control equals on Windows. So back and forth is just Control equals, Command equals. And in the mix window, there's this section right here that says I-O. Your I is your input, your O is your output. You want the input to be set to the same thing that your mic is plugged into. So of these two options, the top one's gonna be the input, the bottom one's the output. So we're gonna click this and we're gonna set it to whatever your mic is. So I happen to be plugged into mic two. Um, it says analog into, yours will say something to the effect of microphone one, input one, uh, if you're doing the internal mic thing, it might say internal mic. And then this circle button is going to record arm your track. So if you've configured your playback engine correctly, your input, and then you press the red button and you don't see any green signal, that means we probably need to go back to the playback engine and try a different engine. So now that we have signal, we want to set our gain level. Just a simple rule of thumb, you want it pretty high in the green, but not going into the yellow. Once it goes into the yellow, you're going to start hearing distortion. So practice by singing the loudest part of your song and then turn the gain knob on your interface down or up however you need to. If you're doing the funny setup where you're singing into your uh, internal mic, this is going to be controlled in your system preferences under your sound settings and under the input. I'm gonna make sure I'm on my MacBook Pro microphone and I will just adjust this to however loud I need it to be. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. So see, now it's getting a little too loud. So I'm gonna dial it back. Shine bright like a diamond. Ah, that looks good. Let's record. There are two record buttons actually. So this red one and this red one. This one is just saying when this is on and we're ready to record, record onto this track. When you click this one, it means we're ready for a take. When you click this one on top, you're telling Pro Tools, I'm ready to record now. So you're gonna engage this and we're gonna hit space bar to start and then space bar again to stop. If this wasn't on, we would just be listening. So right now it's on, so that means we're about to record a take. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. So I got my lead. I do wanna double this part, so I'm gonna switch to this track now. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Cool. Now I want to record on this one for my final. It looks like there's no signal. Why do you think that is? Let's go to the mix window. Oh, it's not selected on the right input. So I need to fix that. And we're back. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. I'm actually going to make one more track so that I can do that beautiful like diamonds in the sky. I'm going to double click on that. Lead to. Cool. 
shine bright like a diamond. We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. All right, let's listen back. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. I don't like the way the end of this sounds, so I'm gonna do what's called punching in, and that's where you just record the one word that you wanna fix. So I'm gonna actually start recording here, and then I'm gonna use my editing tools to comp this together. And this is actually a lot easier to do when it's on a different track, so I'm gonna go ahead and make one more track. And I'm just gonna drag this down for now and watch, watch how I comp this. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. All right, cool. So let's say I want the ending of that only, but I'm gonna keep the beginning of the first take. I'm gonna need to introduce you to the editing tools to show you how to do that. These are our editing tools right here. This is the trim tool, selector tool, and grabber tool. And then this border here is smart tool engage. So if you just have one tool at a time, that's fine and all but I like to have all of them available to me at the same time. So with that smart tool engaged, as you hover over the bottom, it becomes the hand, that's the grabber tool, so I can grab the whole wave. If you have it hovering over the top, it becomes the selector tool, which I'm gonna use right now. If you're hovering at the end, it becomes the trim tool. And then if you hover over the top corner, it becomes the fade tool, okay? And if you happen to have a cut, and to place a cut, you do Command E. If you hover over two adjoining waves, it becomes a crossfade tool like that, okay? I'm just gonna grab the last word here and drag it down and I'm gonna zoom in. The command for zooming in is Command Brackets and then I'm going to use my Trim tool to get kind of between the words, that's the best place to place um, a crossfade. And I'll put that there. And now we can hear it with my new little comp. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. So obviously I would like to spend a lot more time on this, making it perfect. But for now, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what mixing is. If we go back to the mix window, that's command equals, here we are. We can turn things down. Maybe my background vocals are a little loud, so I'll turn them down a little bit. And then what I like to do with background vocals is pan them. This is the panning tool, all the way left and right. And so now my lead vocal is gonna be in the center and my backgrounds are gonna be left and right. Right now it's sounding very raw, but what we would do next is add some plugins to our vocal chain to really shape the sound. And I have those all set up in my template. So now I wanna show you what this would sound like in my template. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new session, but this time I'm gonna create it from my template, which is this one. We'll call it Diamonds Template. I'm gonna change this to 24 bit. I don't think 32 is necessary. So essentially I wanna recap the same thing, but in the template and it will automatically sound mixed really cool. Keep in mind when you download your template, there will be two options. One has all the free stock plugins that Pro Tools comes with. And then there's my version with the plugins that I actually use, which I've purchased over time. And a lot of those have free trials actually. One thing I wanna point out, and actually I have another gift for you, whether you take the mini course or not, I'm gonna send you my recording studio buying guide with prices because a lot of people assume setting up a home studio and buying plugins is gonna be super expensive, but it really doesn't have to be. I can recommend a starter studio setup that you can get for under $200. So I've opened up my template. This is what it looks like. There's a lot going on. A lot is already set up for me. I'm gonna go ahead and import that instrumental again. Okay, there it is. Got my playback engine, Symphony Desktop. I'm gonna go check out that my record is on the right input. It is not, so I'm gonna set it to input two because that's what I'm using right now. And then we should be good to record. Here we go. So shine bright. 
tonight you and i we're beautiful like diamonds in the sky Okay, so I finished recording. I did all my vocal production and all that, all my comping. As you can see, I put a lot of cuts in the verse, especially every time you see a cut, I've stolen uh, I've stolen that word from a different take and I spliced them together. So this is what it's sounding like. Sunrise to the universe as we moonshine and my Feel the warmth will never die. We're like diamonds in the sky. Your shoots and star I see a vision of ecstasy when you hold me I'm alive we're like diamonds in the sky I knew that we'd become one right away oh right away at first sight I felt the energy of sunrise I saw So there you go. That's the recording routine. As you can see, it's really not that complex when you only focus on the basics that singers need. But you do need more than just a template. You need a walkthrough and a step-by-step -step guide to actually using it correctly. And because I created this mini course just for vocal people, it's going to save you a lot of time and headache by leaving out the stuff we really just don't need right now. If you do want to learn how to produce instrumentals, this ain't it. If you want to learn how to control those giant mixing consoles and all the analog outboard gear. This ain't it. This is simply recording vocals professionally from home. So get you a microphone and let's go. All I need from you is one hour of focus to follow along with the step-by-step -step instruction and you'll already be doing what took me about five years to figure out. And now I've been doing this professionally for 15 years. Really great place to start. But if you already know you really want more than just the quick start template, you want the full three month Pro Tools course for singers to learn it top to bottom, advanced vocal editing, tuning, vocal production technique for that real radio quality sound. You want the mixing, the special effects and more. That is also available to you. All right, guys, thank you for checking out the recording routine. Again, the vocal recording shortcut is a great place to get started. I hope to see you soon. So shine bright.